Hey everyone, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. No, it's not for We Happy Few. At least not technically. <laughs> I've already done the game. It's actually for a DLC. <laughs> so, uh, uh, no. First few things you might be have be thinking right now or be asking is one. Uh, how many are there? What are they? And the second one, why have I waited so long? Because the wish, like I, I originally played this last year, and I didn't do anything straight after. I didn't continue with DLCs. Both good questions. <clears throat> so, the first, that's the first one. There are three DLCs. Uh, there's, I'll actually be doing one of them, which is the third and final one. Uh, reason is that it, as far as I'm concerned, and I actually looked this up. And the third and final one is directly related to the main storyline. The other two I read into were um, basically kind of like so it, it, you know, in games you have sort of you, the half songs do they do like DLCs or mini like mini missions, mini side quests within the main game that uh, talk about the background of certain side characters or minor characters in the game. Well. The first few DLCs are very much like that. <laughs> the third one actually takes a reference to a character that I suppose you might call a main character in certain aspects, but we never played as them. But it was, there was a lot of reference to them in the game. So, uh, but I'll get to that in a moment. Now, why have I waited so long? <laughs> Good question. Uh, look... <laughs> I actually never even knew those DLCs for this game, or that even were going to release any till Christmas, and I was sick, so I did. I just like I I I because I, I was looking at something completely different, and I I don't know where I don't know whereabouts I saw it. Well, it was an online forum or whatever it was, and I noticed it, and I thought. Oh, okay. So they're actually releasing DLCs, like it was actually kind of cool. And I thought, oh, but <coughs> excuse me, uh, they were locked. I actually tried. I went straight into the game. You know, I was sick. I was thinking, oh, let's just have a look and see what's going on. The, but they were locked because you had to purchase them unless you got the, unless you got like a season pass or whatever it was when you pre-ordered it. I didn't, so I had to go out and buy it. But because I was sick, I, I just didn't even bother about it. So I actually forgot about it till about a month afterwards, so about two or two and a half months ago, so, and I suddenly realised, like, I, I was recovered, I was like, oh my god, I've got to buy, I've got to, you know, buy it and purchase the stuff online, which I did, <laughs> so I could access it, and, but then I thought, look, and now I thought to myself, well, do I want to do all three of them, and I thought, there's not much, like, I don't really, for me personally, there are other games I'd rather play, and I'd rather do a DLC that has a direct connection to the main story, which is exactly why I'm going to be doing uh, this one, which is the third and final DLC for We Happy Few, which is called We All Fall Down. Now, what that is kind of about is a character that you may have remembered from the main storyline or that was referenced a few times is Victoria Bing, the daughter of General Bing, <coughs> General Robert Bing. And she was on this executive committee, whatever else, and we play as her. So we get to see her. As I understand, we get to, see, we get to play as her and, and learn about her, her story after a certain point and her perspective on the goings on, goings on, and whatever's about this alternate universe. So it now, from what I've read, this takes place. So there's a point in the story we're playing as Ollie, and he has to sneak into Bing Victoria Bing's mat estate, and he cap he essentially captures her, ties her up inside her own estate, and she manages to escape. That is essentially, from what I understand, is where we pick off when we play as her. So, um, without further ado, uh, we will get started. Just before I do, 
and uh, let you know if you're new to my channel I play games for the story I like to explore read and collect as much as I can and since this is a we happy few this can be quite a bit to explore and a lot to read and collect so without further ado let's get started shall we yes <laughs> sometimes I like how they do this in these games where it's just do you want to? No? Yes? No? Okay, fine. <laughs> For duty, duty must be done. The rule applies to everyone. W.S. Gilbert. Redigor. Rudigor. Okay. <laughs> Everything's getting fixed already on TV sooner or later. <laughs> yeah, kind of true. But the one we had a few. That doesn't actually surprise me too much. <laughs> Bobbies are tough. They do love a scrap. Yep, they do. <laughs> I have a problem with smashing with a baton and killing you with it as well. If they do so, please. With their mass and terrifying up close look. <laughs> God. Oh, I kind of hope we got a half decent weapon to use against them. We'll see. What's that up there? <laughs> Is that serious your reference to this? <laughs> Excuse me. October 23rd, 1964. Wellington World is most certainly not falling apart. Ridiculous! The very idea that citizens are starving to death in the streets. Nonsense! Poor Victoria Bing. Forced off her joy by mad Arlie Starkey. Is certainly not starting to remember all the terrible things she's done. No, no. Once she finds a mood booth, all these nasty thoughts will melt away like fog on English morning. I yet hope, but much like... Oh my god, how do I not remember the guy's name again? <laughs> the, the first original character. I've forgotten his name. I believe I've forgotten his name. Um... <clears throat> Most like the original character? <laughs> yeah. I think she'll want to remember, or at least I think her thoughts will be so horrific, and she'll be throwing up so much from the lack of, or overdose of joy, that, yeah, she might force to remember. Anyway, let's start. What was his name? God. People in town are getting a tad bit skinny. I think they're starving to death. Will you give me my joy? Oh, people, oh, have to know. I oh. need my joy. You're wicked and selfish, and I hate you. No. Got to find a mood booth. Okay. Down and out. Arthur! Arthur Hastings! I literally just remembered it. We can't explore. Either they're passed out or. No, let's not even go there. <laughs> Alright, Miss Bing. Might want to top up if, if I ain't rude to say so. I. It, well, we're, we're just on our way. It's alright. We're just, um. I, I don't know, we're just, uh, we've had, we've had a bit of a nasty experience at our house, so, uh, j just bear with us a sec, will you? This thing is going to be a bear! Oh my god, uh, lady, do you know your eyes are glowing red? Um... Nothing to see here, nothing to see. Whoa! Oh nothing my god, that Everything's in order. Uh, this literally reminds me of a zombie movie. <sighs> Not the good ones. And I, yeah, I don't mean the good, I don't mean not to go into in the bad movies, just the good ones where everyone had glowing eyes and they were just, yeah, demonic level zombies. <coughs> yeah, we're in serious joy withdrawal right now. Like, legitly serious um, joy withdrawal. 
Like, it's ugly right now. We're gonna get very... Oh my god. Um, don't mind us. I uh, Let's just have a quick look. No, nope, nothing over there. Oh, you PowerPoints, piss off! Oh, really? How about you piss off and leave him alone? Done nothing. Not. Yeah, exactly! Oh, yeah! Scared now, yeah! Oh, uh, okay, okay, well, okay. There's got to be a mood booth somewhere. God, and the bloody constables are going after him. Oh, my. Oh, that's not me trying to put on an intention on British accent. just comes up. I haven't eaten at all. Oh, well, my British not. Well, possibly. Well, I'll let you two discuss that in great. Okay, those eyes are starting to creep me out a little bit. Not in a good way. Is there anything down here? Like in the boot, music and mood sets this place up. Parsons Burgative. Do your duty with England's finest. <laughs> uh, let's just. Oh, good. Oh, at least I remember some stuff. Basics of how to run. What are they all doing? They're all on joy, and we're not. Oh, that is that blood? Uh, that's pig's blood, or someone's being killed. You're a real mate, you know that. Most blokes wouldn't just sit there and let me natter on. I feel like I could tell you anything. Yeah, because he's dead, you numpty. Oh my God, you are. You're priceless, you know that. No one can spin a yarn like you. Go on. Tell me another. Oh my god. Yep. Oh. oh boy. That's not good. Oh, there's a mood boot. Yeah. I'll take my joy and forget this ever happened. Uh, it's alright, Constable. We're just gonna get our joy. Don't worry about it. Um, Miss Pink, there isn't anybody in there. What are we doing? You can utilize a facility. What are we doing here? <laughs> Taking our joy, I hope. Good Lord, Mum, you um, you might want to take a lot, eh? Wouldn't want to mistake you for a towner, eh? I, <laughs> I, I can't oh. take my joy. I have to. Sweet Jesus! Keep a clear head. You are. You've got downer. You best come with me, Mom. Uh, no, we can't do that. She's a downer! 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 She's a downer! Well, there's not even a bloody shower all the way across the street, mate. I am on joy. It's an experimental hey. formula. Yeah, exactly. Piss off. And stay back. I'm not... I'm gonna whip her. I'm not afraid to use it. Come on. And stay back. Oh, no, you don't. Come on. Come on! Come on! Oh, damn it. That did not... Whoa, crap. Okay, let's... Can he... Wait, oh. Can he get in... Oh, right! No, you don't. And stay back. Are you serious? Oh, come on. I need to get out of here. Let's I can't fight them all. Get out of here. Hear someone talk about downers. What's a downer? We're trying to well, a downer is someone who simply isn't taking their joy. No, you're not. You can bugger off. Endangers the mental health of everyone around. Damn right, bugger off. He or she may try to draw 
Uh, how do we beat these again? Oh, right. <laughs> that shows how long it's been since I played this. <laughs> Done that. Okay, gotcha. Susan, I'm just a wee bit concerned about George. Ever since the little oopsie at the bridge side, he just hasn't been himself. I told him not to fuss. I'm sure there's plenty of ways he can still, he can still be, he can be useful still. But he keeps carrying on like a real downer. I'll try and check in on him next week. But until then, if you wouldn't mind popping in every day or so, just that would be just lovely. Do make sure he's taking his pills, would you, Harriet? She is. Oh God! Um, run, run! Ah, crap! Um, that's not what we wanted. Oh boy! I can't believe I'm hiding from the police. Simon says, skip in place. Simon says, patty cake. Simon says, uh, jump thanks. again. Look at Wellington Wells, Simon all cards off the table these clap. days, so I'm not too surprised. Simon says, flap. Clap. Flap. Oh, cool. Simon says, jump. Aha. Uh -huh. Simon says, spin. Simon says, put your hand in your ear. Ooh, gotta be a little careful how to use that ability, don't I? Put your hand in your hips. Okay. Right. Are you <gasps> running from the authorities? Not now, Mother, please. You've shut me out of your thoughts for so many years. I can't, I just can't. So, we're having some sort of memory illusions with, um... With, uh, her mum, is that what it is? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Maybe it's just because I know the mind can make some, you know, mental illusions and hallucinations based on memories. You know, when you think you're in a crisis or when you're having trouble remembering stuff, things just occur like that. It depends on the situation of the person, but it is been known, has been known to happen to people. Uh, okay. Bon voyage. Oh, you. Wait, do these people. It was this a um, oh my gosh. did they commit suicide? I tragically think so. Oh boy, can we collect anything from them? I, I know that's like a horrible thing to do, but collect. Look, collect glass bottles. I'll take that. Um, not, not alert the authorities. To click what we can. Wow. They had a party to end all parties, it would seem. Wait. Oh, yes, there's one here. Looks like I collect a bunch of glass bowls, which is good. Let's just as we can. John, party supplies. Everyone's dead. Everyone's dead juffed about this Saturday. About this Saturday evening, it's going to be the party to end all parties. I'm just dying to see everyone. Ah, huh, right. Of course, no pun intended. Of course not. <laughs> Please nip round to the shops and pick up some supplies. I'll be mortally embarrassed if we miss anything. Right. Balloon streamers arsenic for the cocktails. Don't miss our last one. Cheerio! Oh god. They took poison. No kidding. Damn. Okay. J. 
jammed. Okay, um... I can't think with all these bobbies around me and all this death. I've got to get somewhere quiet. And stay down! Okay. Whoa, 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 a little bow, blah, blah, no, 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 oh, damn it. Why did I go up that way? Alright, come on. Let's do this. I didn't want to do that. He kept looking at me. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. Nah, I didn't say Simon's there, but you got out, so yes, you're out. Yes, be very careful. All right, Simon says, lift your right knee. Be Simon, careful. Lift your left knee. Ooh, that looks like someone can get to. Let's do that. Well, suicide looks like the only place we can go. It's better than nothing, that's for sure. For run to who, whosoever, which is... Damn it. Around. Well, you can stop and read that quote if you like. <laughs> Far quicker than I can. You can pause it. <laughs> Come to see how the other half rots. Uh, we're actually off our joy, mate, so uh, we're kind of in the same state you are. Probably better dressed, though. But apart from that, not much better off, to be honest. Come to help. Uh, we're just trying to find our way around, um, so, I guess not, technically. Haven't you helped enough already? It, yeah, probably. Yeah, I know that was not the right way to put it, but anyway. Oh, another illusion. What then must we do? Please, I'm throwing up and everything's horrible. I'm if I just took my joy, it would all go back to bright and lovely. Well, I can hardly stop you. I'm only an uncomfortable memory. But I can't. I have to keep a clear head. Till I can tell Father what's going on out there. Has Father changed very much since we lived in the palace? Because he was always excruciatingly well informed about what was going on then. He doesn't know this. He can't. If he knew, he would fix it. Yes, well. It's lovely that you're thinking of your mother again. One hates to be forgotten. Oh, even if I'm in a faraway country and, for all you know, dead for years. He's probably at the Victory Memorial Camp. I can walk there on the underground tracks. A bit of a cheap shot from a mother, but <clears throat> honestly... A fair one. Let's let's be fair. <laughs> let's just let's be frank. <clears throat> ah, the old hatches. Oh, we don't even have to walk across them. It's the old. For duty, duty must be done. The rule applies to everyone. <laughs> it almost rhymes. <laughs> In a sensible way. Not for a wee happy fewish, is it? <laughs> Security device are poorly managed. Your second thing with your dark gun. Ooh. I hope it's infinite ammo, dark gun. Kind of sucker you have to craft ammo. It just, I just for the sake of, <coughs> so we can just explore it. Now, I wonder if we're gonna have a research tree. How that's gonna work? Huh. Interesting. I'm kind of curious about that. So it looks like we're probably going to have a, a tech tree, as it were, for the um, whip, possibly. Maybe even the dark gun, we'll see. Actually, it's something I should have a look at. <coughs> anyway, we'll do that after talking to Robert Bing.
ill omens. Just check something quickly. <coughs> Excuse me. Aha, uh -huh. so what have you got? Shove off, okay, knock off the enemies, right. It's contraptions we need. Sorry? Hmm? Well, oh. Strong out, what about general? Sound step, okay. Soft landing. Oh, shush. <coughs> That is a hundred percent our first one. Probably that one next. This is critical. Our whippet team doing quite well, so that's all right. The crawling world will sort that out when we have to, but definitely we need to get something to take out bobbies and doctors. Hundred percent. Everyone's been doing with a whip. Bit of crowd control if we need it. Whoa, steady on. Doodlebug. So what do I owe the pleasure? I ran into Ollie Starkey. Good lord, are you all right? He thinks the town is running out of food and we're all going to die. He, he always did have a keen sense of drama. You know he used to be a song and dance man. People oh, are okay. eating charcoal, Daddy. And there's a plague in the village. That's an understatement. You might have told me you were planning to go off your joy. Couldn't we give them all blackberry? They could make plants, plant vegetables, even start the trade over the bridge again. They don't even know they're starving. Sally Boyle can barely make enough blackberry for the bobbies. But don't you worry. Your man, Dr. Verloc, is working on a treatment that will put everyone back on the right track. So we just... wait. We can't do nothing. Nothing is exactly what we must do. Hey. If our people realise they're running out of food, they'll kill each other for the last box of V8. Okay, fair point. Doing your duty isn't always pretty. You don't always get a bright, shiny medal. Kind of true as well. people on top doing their duty, us. Well. It's the only thing that keeps us from savagery. What I'm can sure I do? That. Let me help. You have such a keen sense of duty. Yes, help. Organize a Simon Says competition. Hmm. Keep them distracted until your man comes through. Oh, sure. He will come through, won't he? Yes. Father. But for God's sake, go back on your joy. You'll only complicate things. Wonderful. <sighs> I mean, there were some things he'd make a certain point with, but others just like, I suppose okay. I better check on Dr. Verloc. Make sure he really is close to a solution. Mm. I mean, there's some aspects of what he said that I, I, I you know, are legitimate for... I mean, they sound insane, but, you know, don't go always get bright, shiny metal and all this sort of stuff. And to be fair, if there was a severe panic, the pill would go completely crazy. So, for certain items. So, you know, wartime or not, so, that, that, he's got a point there. But in other aspects, no, he's just being a complete crazy lunatic. That, in my opinion, anyway. Right. Um. Oh, that's that thing up there. Let's not try that. Let's have a. Uh, let's just make a wave our way around to have a look. Oh, contraptions. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, excellent. Good. What about that? I'm gonna have a look around first. We have to go through there, but. Anything up here? It certainly is. <coughs> a bridge too far. Dear General Bing, as per your order, sir, closed, uh, closed down the west end of Waterloo Square District for quarantine. This ought to do it, at least for now. That makes three neighborhoods this week alone. Also, I spoke with some local landowner, with some of the local landowners who found your offer to purchase buildings in the afflicted areas quite generous, as you foresaw. You indeed, you indeed have a keen strate strategic mind, sir. Once the quarantines are lifted, that should pocket you quite a lovely little profit. Oh, devious, very devious. I'll continue to canvass this city for any signs of infection and any further opportunities. Uh, urgent, 
reasons to uh, impose new restrictions. Yours, etc. Anthony Covington. Civil work. Civic works. <laughs> right. To uh, <coughs> find new opportunities. Now, can we sneak past this? You just. Yeah. You can take your joy in this. Oh, crap. Damn. You can take your joy in this. Damn it! How do you, how, how do you, oh! Come on! Hey! Oh, are you seriously kidding me right now? Oh, god damn it. No you don't! What the hell? Are you kidding me? You take your no! Oh, god! Like seriously. Oh, come on. <sighs> Don't you dare. Are you serious? How the shit am I supposed to do this? <sighs> no. Oh my god. Well, taking the underground right back to those bobbies. Ah. So, what the hell? Oh, okay. Oh, we have to get over there. Oh, charming! I have to survive this thing again. Wonderful! They we crouch. Should have done that the first damn time, should I? That was silly of me. Yay! God, that's necessary. Okay, okay, okay. Oh? No? Good TV. Good TV. Yay! I should have just crashed the first time. That was really silly of me. Legitly. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Well, that is seriously unsteady. Okay, we're definitely checking over there. Whoa, easy, easy, easy. God's sake. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> These things are damn unsteady. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Easy, easy. Oh, my God. Whoa, 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 whoa. How long have they been jerry-rigging these walkways? Well, I think because they're all in the joy, I don't I don't think anyone's been caring about that for, um, seriously, quite a while. I mean, when you enjoy, you sort of forget. Oh, could to be kidding me! I'm so glad I remembered how to jump there. Okay, let's get out of here. Where are the men? Did they fall off and everyone just forgot? I think they... I just... I don't think anyone was even thinking about that, to be honest. Um... What the hell? What the hell? Oh, you serious? I'm assuming that was... What the hell? Um... What the... Huh? I'm confused here. Uh, what the hell? Yeah. Yeah. The 
Oh, let's pick read this then. Okay. <laughs> to all laborers, lads. While we appreciate your dedication to your craft, if you're feeling the least bit under the weather, do stay home. Or better yet, hide thee to a doctor. Hide thee to a doctor immediately. And any complaint led to a run unfortunate tumble for Harry yesterday. He'll be off on holiday for the foreseeable. Safety first, the management. Right. Maybe I need to... I don't know what the hell. Okay, um... Ah! Right, that explains a lot of things. It just wasn't in the right position for it. Fair enough. Oh god, that is seriously unsteady. Until the move booth proposed has been installed in this area, workers should please keep eyes forward and not look over the side and under any circumstances, management. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, like that has to be said. Well, apparently it does. Because they're all buggered off. Or, um, worse. <laughs> okay, cool. Gerald? Where's everyone? Uh, did I miss a holiday? Anthony. I, I, I don't think he missed a holiday. I just don't think, um, yeah. Oh god, Ab! Oh! Whoa! That is seriously unsteady. Let's just get out of here. Okay! Wonderful! <laughs> Oops, I ain't back here. Nice. What are we on? Four and how many do we need for that? Be six, okay. Not making that same mistake again. I'll try not to anyway. Easy. So, what the hell? Can I? Ooh, let's not take too many chances. Go. Go now. All laborers, lads. The outdoor to the worksite should be closed and locked at all times. This is the bad case of the sniffles going around in the surrounding district and it would be unfortunate if, uh, hypothetically, any of these sufferers would you accidentally wander in and request a tissue. Manager, oh great. They've caught the, um, well, yeah. Uh, huh. Um. Are these? Oh my god, they're plague types. Oh my god, um... This is not... Plague. Oh crap! No you, no you don't! Whoa. Whoa! This is healing. Okay! Uh, wow! So you can't search trash bins? Okay. Look at all these just stacked here. Wow. <clears throat> You're just... God knows what. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Dread to think, I'll tell you what. Alright, I'll tell you what. We'll end it here. 
And next time, I reckon this is our way back into Wellington Wells itself. And yeah, we'll head in and explore what, well, uh, uh, what I'm assuming is the darker, more, well, in that, yeah. You know what might call the uh, darker, the shadowed end of uh, the poorer end of um, Wellington Wells. Yeah. See you next time.